before it's too late. And while Denise is searching out whale sharks to track them biologically, Dr. Urquhart is preparing his high-tech gear to help him track these gypsies of the deep. The transmitter sends a signal, very low wattage signal, about a quarter of a watt, to one of four polar orbiting satellites. These satellites then use the signal that it's receiving to determine its location on the, on the surface of the, um, of the ocean. Normally at this time of year in Donsal, there are scores of whale sharks swimming around. According to the locals, the conditions are perfect for the whale sharks. The moon is in the right quarter, there is plenty of krill around, therefore whale shark numbers should be high. So now it's a case of waiting and seeing. Dr. Eckhard on his boat and Denise Newbound on hers, both tacking along the coast searching for the big fish. But for the scientists, they are proving elusive. March 22, 1999, and Cyclone Vance smashes into Exmouth on the Ningaloo Reef in Western Australia, right at the beginning of the whale shark season. Winds reached 267 kilometres an hour. It was the strongest ever cyclone to hit the Australian mainland. Exmouth was virtually destroyed. Tour operators were convinced the whale shark season was wrecked. They were right. However, their loss was another's gain. The whale sharks stayed clear of Exmouth for most of the season, preferring to cruise 150 kilometres further south on Ningaloo Reef at Coral Bay. Although the whale sharks were remaining elusive in the Philippines, despite the cyclone, Ningaloo was having one of its best seasons ever. And there's another difference. Unlike the Philippines and the Seychelles, where whale sharks congregate in large numbers, Ningaloo sharks tend to be solitary. However, the waters around Ningaloo, where the sharks are found, have possibly the clearest waters in the world. And without a doubt, divers who come to this area to swim with the whale sharks are rarely disappointed. Brad Norman has been studying the whale shark's behaviour at Ningaloo for five years. He has the world's largest collection of whale shark photo IDs, and it's doubted that any other scientist has swum with more whale sharks than he has. Brad Norman's work centres on whether the whale sharks of Ningaloo are permanent residents or temporary. His research leads him to agree that the whale shark is a gypsy of the deep. We don't know where they travel to um, when they leave Ningaloo. Um, we don't know where they come from before they get here. Um, we don't know basically how often they breed, um, how, how fast they grow. Brad says that it's likely that some whale sharks make extensive migrations, while it is also equally possible that other whale sharks remain in the area where the food resources are high, staying within a fairly local range. To help prove this, in the summer of 1999, he successfully satellite tagged a whale shark. Up until a couple of months ago, we were getting um, some really good readings back from where it was um, moving to and from, and it actually moved a little bit further north, which for us is very important because in areas in Asia where they're hunted, we want to know if our sharks go to those regions. But until we have some really good information on whale shark numbers, and their migratory routes, it's very hard to encourage global protection. But, you know, if we chip away at the research, finding out more information about them, I really think that we're going to have the ability to protect them and hopefully ensure they stay around forever.
Twice a year, in March and April, more than 200 species of coral, which is the Ningaloo Reef, spawn, bringing in sea life of all kinds to form a definitive microcosm of the food chain as the Indian Ocean turns into a nutrient-rich soup de poisson. spawning which causes huge plankton blooms is devoured by small bait fish. Which in turn are devoured by tuna and other large fish. Which are in turn eaten by sharks at the top of the food chain. Meanwhile, the whale shark, who when fully grown has no real predators, crews in amongst the melee, taking what it needs. <laughs> <laughs> 